out of the red corner. He comes to the ring wearing white trunks and weighed in officially at 167.8 pounds. A native of the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. He is now making his home in Provo, Utah, and has a professional record of four wins and one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ray, the American Dream, Corona! And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing red with black and weighed in officially at 168.8 pounds. Hailing from Marietta, Georgia, he is undefeated with one win. That one win comes by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Nathan Brick Buster Lugo. All right, so Nathan Lugo, who had an amateur record of 252 wins, only nine losses, 40 by KO. There he is. Looks like he spent his entire purse tonight on those trunks, <laughs> right? That is some high-level, expensive gear. He'll be taking on Ray Corona, 4-1 and one out of Utah. You know, that 40 knockouts on his amateur resume, that might not seem like a lot on paper, but Sergio, you know, getting 40 knockouts is significant in the amateur ranks. Getting a knockout in three rounds, absolutely. And the, and the knockouts don't come in the amateur because you're wearing oversized gloves and headgear. And, yeah, that's really impressive. Speaking of impressive, Lugo says, I don't waste any time. I come right after my opponents. That's what he did in his opening bout, winning in 93 seconds. And he's trying to do the same here. You can see he has heavy hands already. And he's not the fastest with, with his combinations, but you can definitely see he has power behind those fists. Good body yeah. shot there by Lugo. Yeah, Ray Corona's already eaten heavy shots. The power punches are landing at will. And look at Nathan Lugo go. That's what I was talking about Ray Corona. If he's going to have any chance to stay in this fight, he's got to survive this first round. Nathan Lugo is a huge puncher. How's his footwork, Sergio? Uh, you know, for a big man, it's actually he's pretty nifty on his feet. He's flat-footed. Oh, he just ate a left, and he throws a right back. He's flat-footed, but he has a good bounce. You know, he has a good rhythm. He fights with a good rhythm, Lugo. But his chin's up in the air right now. He is susceptible to overhand shots. You want Corona, if he is going to lose this early, at least get your shots in. Throw your offense. Let your hands go. And there is opportunity right there. He threw a left hook, landed on the chin. Yeah, but Lugo's fighting with reckless abandon. He knows Corona can't hurt him, or at least thinks he can't hurt him. And that's when you can catch your opponent off guard and hurt him. Because what, in, in this sport, you know, if you land a good shot, it's always going to hurt. If you land it on the tip of the chin, and Lugo's giving you an opportunity. The chin's in the air, and he's, and, he's, and he's getting overly aggressive on those combinations. Look, right there, you see Corona just barely came up short. If he would have doubled his jab in, he would have landed that right hand. Good body work again from Lugo. Spreading the wealth, so to speak. I love the guard manipulation, Sergio. He pulled the gloves down with his left hand and landed the right. Yeah, Fernando Vargas used to do that a lot. I like that power jab from Lugo. I like to see a little bit more of that setting up some of these power shots. That's actually uh, frowned upon and maybe even illegal, but if the referee lets you get away with it, pawing the glove and the guard down and, and trying to sneak a shot in, then go ahead. I like that jab that, that Lugo throws. Anytime it's an interception jab, you know, anytime Corona wants to get something started, Lugo throws a power shotgun jab to stop the uh, momentum. Oh, clubbing shot. That was behind the head. Let's see if the referee talks to him about it. Nope. Ten seconds to go, and it looks like Corona is going to make it out of round one. There you go. There's that shot again.
good shots. I mean, look right there. He, he's switching southpaw Lugo. He fights squared up, but he gets away with it because he's so powerful and explosive from both sides. You know, Mike Tyson used to square up on opponents and he used to, he used to get away with it because he had that power. And anytime you got that power, you know, opponents are afraid of opening up or throwing something back or countering those shots. But that's what I'm not liking in Lugo. He pulls back with the chin in the air. You know, he was a talented amateur. No doubt about that. A lot of skill in Nathan Lugo. 25 national championships on his resume. But you can see he kind of feels more comfortable as a backyard brawler a little bit. Keeps that chin exposed. Even that look on his face. Like he's just coming out to seek and destroy. He began boxing at the age of eight after his mother signed him up for lessons because he was being bullied. There's and a right hand and a left. Corona's coming out. I like this. Yeah, Corona just got caught with a big left yeah. hook. I mean... The power is definitely on Lugo's side because Corona, he landed a clean shot, but when Lugo lands, he rocks him. He shakes him up. Nathan Lugo won the 2024 Olympic U.S. trials at 80 kilos, but received a one-month suspension for an anti-doping rule violation. Sergio was suspended for marijuana, which we can all smell in the air right now. <laughs> what are your thoughts on fighters being suspended for weed? I, I'm, well, look, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of it, especially with, you know, those CBD oils, you know, that fighters are actually getting caught with. I don't know how it works. I'm not a fan oh, of it. And they're going to stop it. Corona says, wait a minute. What are you doing? Lugo says, hey, I'll take the win. That's whatever. But it's over. And Nathan Lugo is now 2-0. and And I'm sure Ryan Reynolds is there. proud of the I'm Deadpool lookalike's performance. <laughs> Not the most dramatic ending to a fight. I mean, Corona was taking shots, but he didn't seem completely done yet. But I guess in the end, Sergio, we all knew what the end was going to be. Yeah, Ray Corona killed his high. <laughs> <laughs> a buzz kill. Yeah, there you go. So Nathan Lugo is now 2-0 and with two knockouts. And the man who won three junior Olympic titles in a four-year span looks pretty good as a professional so far. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, he, he's definitely raw. Yeah. But uh, well, He's only 20 years old, no, too. No, no, no. no. I, I get it. He's only has one fight. But I like the enthusiasm. I, I like what there's to work with there, especially in this weight division where it's about power. It's about strength.